facility requires it, we will, when we take it, we will debag it. Yeah. You know, which, is, which is dumping the tote out and, you know, taking the, the bag and pulling it up. Now, the, the bag is still compostable, so we just put it into a bin where they compost it. That has been a concern. I, I talked to a company in Alabama that they don't allow bags right. because it gets into the equipment. Right. The furnace, the furnace are all usually talking about that. Still, the, the labor to debag it is, for, for my, as a cost basis, it's still economical for us to debag it because to clean that tote, you know, the bag breaks and you have raw food in that tote, it takes several minutes. And we have a, a tote washer that sanitizes and steams it, but it still takes a lot longer. You take the bag out, and I'm selfish, I'll spend that dollar a bag just to save the cleaning time. Something, but uh, it doesn't even that to make sense. Yeah, I actually took a key seminar on a, on a facility out in California that is doing this kind of a similar program to this. What they found out is for the cost of recyclable bags, you just don't have to say, use plastic and put an air plastic air fire at the end of the compost screener, and that pulls out the plastic and it's a lot cheaper to just let it happen and yeah. pull it out at the end. John, how do they keep it out of their winter returns? Awesome. David, you got you guys have the ability to to I think we, 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 back we, back we, we, we do have this uh, uh, what we yeah, back yeah. and stuff on, on the end of them, but I mean if, if the compost depends on the moisture content of the compost is it, how well the it's called an airlift separator, right. is it how how well that vacuum will really work. Right. Um, so we, we do have we actually have, have three vacuums on our screen screening system that's pulling out all the plastic. Wow. But, yeah, I would not want to just put the plastic bags into the process and then try to work That's on the it. Again, there's, there's my hauler and there's my St. Louis composting, okay. all sitting in the same room. So through that cooperation, and I can't stress enough the health department, if you're a school. I mean, I only do schools. That's all I've done for 23 years. But you've got to have that relationship, that partnership, because the cafeteria workers are so intent on getting that high rating that you need the health department there to say, this is okay, we can do this. Now sometimes those bags weren't full, but they were able to be tied and put down and then another bag could go in on top of that before Cliff would come and pick them up because he came three times a week. So we had those two days, that Tuesday, Thursday, when he wasn't there. Um, no complaints about the smell. Um, Johnny on the spot and the school district was thrilled. So now we need to sit down and talk money. 